Hi, today we're working on 9.2. We're going to actually do 9.2a today. Um, I think I'm going to have to split this up into two different videos. And here we go. We're going to talk about function notation and linear functions. Please read through the notes. My main goal is to get through all the examples. Um, but if you can read through the notations, the extra words, I'm going to try to talk you guys through them. Um, but let me go ahead and get started. So the first example, it says let f of x equals 6x minus 2. First of all, the letter or the function f of x can also be re represented as y. If you were to actually graph this, I would interchange f of x to be equal to y. So it would be y equals 6x minus 2. In this case, we're just talking about finding the value of the function f for each value of x. So I'm just going to plug in x is equal to negative 3. So what they want you to do is f of x equals 6x minus 2. Now what they want you to do is this. So I am putting little blank spots wherever the variable x goes. And I'll change color so you can see what I'm talking about. They tell me that their x is equal to negative 3. So wherever you see the letter x, you're going to put in negative 3. So what this is letting you know that the function of negative 3 is equal to 6 times negative 3 is negative 18, and then minus 2. So the function f of negative 3 is equal to negative 20. So when you plug in the value um, x is negative 3 into that function, you're going to end up with negative 20. Same thing for this one. I have f of 0 equals 6 times 0 minus 2. So f of 0 is equal to 2, because 6 times 0 is 0, and 0 minus 2. And by the way, that is a minus 2, so that should be a negative 2 right there. I'm glad I caught that. All right, next one. This one here, same thing. They want you to evaluate the function. The only problem is on this one, we just have a little bit bigger of a problem. So we have f of x equals negative x squared plus 3x plus 3. And what you are going to do is, this one here tells you that f of negative 3. So once again, you're going to substitute in for x negative 3. So I'm going to put in negative 3 here. So f of negative 3 is equal to, let's do the math, negative 3 squared is 9. 9 times the negative is negative 9. Now, um, I totally forgot to put a little blank spot here. That was my bad. Remember, that was where x was. I just didn't put it in there. I'm going to put negative 3 in here because remember, wherever there was an x, you need to put in the negative 3. Now, positive 3 times a negative 3 gives you a negative 9. And then we have plus 3 here. So that's going to give me f of negative 3 equals. So negative 9 plus a negative 9 is a negative 18. A negative 18 plus 3 is a negative 15. And you can check your answers with your um, calculator if you want to. All right, the next one. We have f of something equals negative something squared plus 3 times something plus 3. Now on this one, they're telling me that x is actually the letter t. So wherever x was, I'm going to put in a t. So I'm going to get f of t equals t squared is t squared. t squared times a negative is a negative t squared. 3 times t is a positive 3t. And then plus 3 on the end. And that's it. Can't do anything else. All righty. Now let's move to the next one. The next one that gets a little bit bigger. However, they're letting you know that x is all x is equal to is t, minus, or t plus 2. So this right here is x. It just happens to be bigger. Not a big deal. So I have g of x equals 
5 times x minus 1. If you notice, I left the space a little bigger this time. And the reason why I did that is because my x value is just a little bigger. It's t plus 2. So I'm going to put t plus 2 in here. And I'm going to put t plus 2 in here. Now, you are going to have to distribute the 5 across the t plus 2. Okay, so my function g of t plus 2 equals 5 times t is 5t, 5 times 2 is 10, and then don't forget we have a minus 1 on the end, equals 5t, can't do anything with that, but 10 plus a negative 1 is 9. So there's your function f of t plus 2 is equal to 5t plus 9. All right, let's do another one. Now this one's a little bit bigger. So this is going to take us a little bit of time. I might even have to use the scratch paper over here. So h of x, I'm going to leave it blank, equals 2 times something squared minus 3 times something plus 5. Now you guys, this is going to be a bigger problem to deal with. Their x value is really this right here, that whole thing right there. So what you're going to do is you're going to plug that in anywhere where the letter x was. So this might take us a little bit of time, but we can do it. So t plus 3 goes here, t plus 3 goes here, t plus 3 goes here, okay? So on this one here, what you end up doing is the t plus 3 squared, you do have to multiply those together. So I'm going to write this down as t plus 3 times 3 plus uh, t plus 3. So you guys, you do have to do a little bit of the math. So it's going to be t times t, which is t squared. t times 3, which is 3t. Three, 3 times t, which is 3t. And 3 times 3, which is 9. So that ends up with t squared plus 6t plus 9. You could have also used those rules from a long time ago. I told you guys about um, a squaring a binomial. Um, you square the first one, t times t is t squared. t times 3 is 3t. You multiply it by 2, gives you 6t. And then you take the last term and you go 3 times 3, which is 9. Or you can just write it out twice, and there you go. All right, so we have 2 times. Now remember, we just did this over here. So I'm going to copy t squared plus 6t plus 9. Now I'm going to go ahead now and distribute the 2. Okay, so that gives me 2t squared plus 12t plus 18. So I've taken care of that first big giant problem. Now, on the other side over here, it's not that bad. All I have to do is distribute the negative 3 across to each of the terms. That's going to give me a negative 3t, and that's going to give me a negative 9. And then, you guys, I have this lonely 5 over here. Now, what you need to do is you need to combine like terms. So ht plus 3, sorry, I end up with 2t squared. I have 12t plus a negative 3t. That gives you 8, 9, 10, gives you 9, 10, 11, 12. Yep, 9. So they give you 9t. Then I have 18 minus 9, which is 9. And 9 plus 5 is 14, I believe. I'm going to just double check that one more time. So I get 18, take away 9 is 9, and 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yep, we're good. So this problem was a little bit more work. We can still do it. However, it's just a little bit more time consuming. Just remember, be careful. All right, next one. Um, this one, it wants you to find f of 2 for the function. You guys, that is when x is equal to 2. So find f of 2. f of 2 equals, that means that the x value is 2. You guys, this is xy, 
and this is xy. Okay? Remember, the x value is 2. So the x value is 2 here, which means the y value is 6. This is when x um, is 4, and that's not what they're asking you for. They're asking you for um, f of 2. So you find the x value that is 2, and then it's equal to whatever the y value is. Okay, that's just a little terminology, a little tricky maybe, but that's pretty much it. Okay, let's try the next one. Now on this next one, it's about graphing. Finding function values. Let me see how far we have come. Yeah, I might stop here and then um, do some more in just a few minutes. Um, thank you. You guys have a great day. And let me stop. Mm -hmm.